Let me ask you just one question. Do you want to take your game to that next level? If the answer is yes, then you are not alone. You see, every player from beginner to pro strives to up their game every time they get back to the table. Come with me as I show you proven techniques that have helped me in my quest to become a better player. I am not a beginner, nor am I a professional. I am an average guy on a mission. That mission is to take my game to new heights. Along the way, I hope to inspire and help you in yours. I am Ron, the pool student. Hey pool players, hey Ron here. Hey, I've got a good one today, you guys. I had a question by one of my subscribers, Ben Caigo, and I appreciate your uh, question, Ben, for sure. Ben watched the video yesterday where I showed the straight in shot and I was talking about my stroke mechanics and, and I was actually helping out another subscriber at the time, right? So Ben, uh, he, he liked the drill, everything like that, but he asked this, how do you know uh, where your vision center is? And oh, that was a great question because this is a perfect way to explain it. What I have done in the past, when I was working on mainly my stroke, not my vision, but my stroke, but then I discovered that I could work on my vision as well, was to set up this shot right here. And I was shooting the straight in shot anyway, I just wanted to make sure I could bury it every time, it was real simple. Now today I always come way back here to do it. It's a lot more difficult there than it is here. But this is good to put it up here so that we can just simply test ourselves in our mechanics of our, of our stroke, but also what we see as we're lining up. So we're gonna make several shots. So when you guys do this, think of maybe 10, 15, the more the better really, but a minimum 10, where you're gonna pocket this ball in that corner, and you're gonna look and observe what the cue ball does. You're gonna see if it has any rotation, which would indicate that you're not hitting it on the center with your cue when you're striking the cue into the one, or the cue ball into the one, but you're also going to look at where it, where it lands and stays, and then when you bring the ball back and put it back in position, you'll know if you've cut the ball or if it's perfectly straight, and that's what you want to see, that it's perfectly straight. I've uh, got the paper reinforcements, it's aligned you know, perfectly every time, so we can, we can uh, duplicate the shot, so there's no reason why we can't learn from this. So I start out with all of my fundamentals uh, fully uh, you know, in front of me. I wanna make sure I'm doing everything right in the right sequence. So the first thing we do, we just look at the shot, we visualize it, feel it, and we step into it. And what I'm thinking about right now, and I don't need to get back up now because I feel like I'm very balanced. If I feel like I'm leaning or whatever, I'm going to step back up and I'm going to then regroup and step back into the shot until I feel like I'm balanced. Now I think of all of the other mechanical issues that I have tried to address in the past, make sure those are all in position, and I'm going to then take a nice easy stroke and make a stop shot on the one. And hold it. Now, I know I did a good stop shot, but I did see something. It's really good. Now let's look it over. <clears throat> it's a little bit off to the left, meaning that I cut the ball, right? Okay? And also, I did see some rotation on the ball. The rotation is that I didn't hit the cue ball perfectly in the center, so I probably squirted the cue ball a little bit, which caused that cut. Okay? Now we're gonna make another shot. Like I say, we're gonna do several shots like this so that we can have some data. Look at the shot, step into it. Counterclockwise spin. Don't want to see any spin. It was a good stop shot. Let's see if it's in line. It's frozen right to it, by the way. Perfectly in line, but I did hit it a little bit off to the right. And that's my, uh, my uh, vision 
issue that I have. I'm going to put a link, by the way, at the end of this video about the third eye so you can uh, understand how that works and that can address what I'm talking about right here where I'm hitting a little bit to the right. So knowing that I'm hitting a little bit to the right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make one more shot where I'm going to try to adjust my Q-tip more to the left. I'm going to use what's called Kentucky windage. I think I'm seeing it in the middle of the cue ball, but I'm going to move a little bit to the left to try to make sure that cue ball doesn't rotate. So this is a vision thing, okay? Step into the shot. I'm really looking a little bit now. It looks like I'm hitting to the left on the cue ball just a little bit. And look at that. The cue ball never spun that time. I'm not going to keep shooting and shooting and shooting. I'm going to talk to you now about why this drill or why this test is so awesome. Throws into the ball. Let me look again this way. A little bit of a cut angle, a little bit of a cut angle. But here's what we're going to do with this data. When you try this, Maybe you want to take a notepad and write down if your cue ball is drifted to the one side, maybe to the left all in a consistent manner, or to the right, whatever it is, but write it down. Every shot, shot one, shot two, shot three, all the way through ten. If you consistently see that the cue ball is a little bit to the one side, consistently to that side, you know that you're overcutting it. You're overcutting the ball like I used to do. I then had to then decide, is it a stroke issue or is it a, a perception issue? And here's how you can do this. This is the systematic approach that I'm talking about. Like in drag racing for me, when I make an adjustment on my setup for my, let's say my drivetrain so that everything needs to you know, be clicking right, I gotta make sure my shock adjustments are right, all of this so that the car launches correctly and, and goes straight. The same thing here with our pool shot. If we make a tweak in one of our mechanics, you know, like our hand position or elbow in, out, up, down, whatever, or if we move our head inside or outside, any one of those things can, can bother the shot. I do not want to see you make several adjustments at one time. Pick one thing, make that shot with that one adjustment. Maybe it's in this case, maybe you're moving your chin to the inside versus the outside. Maybe your eye, you want to make sure your eyes are a little different over the stick. But don't do anything else. Keep the other parts of your stroke in play and then make that shot 10 times. See if that changed that, that cue ball from drifting to that one consistent side all the time. You follow me? We're trying to do a process of elimination now. We're going to look at every little aspect of our stroke to make sure that we address the correct issue. So I learned, and I think I have a really good stroke right now for, for that long straight in. I learned that my hand position was, was, was off. You know that, I kept talking about mine's flared out. And yes, I know some pros have that, they flare it out, and that's fine. But in my case, I need it to be over the stick so that it has a nice lever and it's all in line. That helped me probably the most. Um, in terms of the vision, the third eye, help me understand that my perceived vision over that shot that looked like it was hitting center cue ball was actually hitting at 330 seconds about to the right. So now I have to use what's called Kentucky windage and I got to aim it to what I see as being to the left, but actually that's going to be center cue ball. So you see, it's how I deal with my issues, but you can do the same. So that's a systematic approach. Ball in the center, cue ball right there. Make sure you put paper reinforcements down so you can duplicate the shot over and over. Think of all your fundamentals and try to perform the shot. Let mistakes happen and write them down and do them over and over and see if there's a pattern. If they're consistently off, then you make adjustments to make sure that you're addressing the right issue within your stroke or within your perceived vision of the shot. If you have any questions, you guys, I think that's a, a really good system. It works well for me. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions uh, about it. And I wish you luck 
as you try it and give me some feedback. Let me know how it worked out for you. Until next time, catch you guys later.